Dr. Deus back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we're going to be looking at some of the production techniques that I really enjoy using in my productions and I'm sure will help you speed up your process. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so one of the things I really enjoy doing when I'm producing is working with reversed chords. Okay, so have a quick listen to this pad. Okay, so in order to reverse the sound of each of these chords, the first thing I must do is convert this pad, which is a MIDI region, to audio. So the quick way to do this is hold down the control key and press B to bounce in place. Okay, now that we've got our audio file, which is this one here, I've just done a bit of rearranging to make things a bit more orderly. What we now need to do is divide this region into individual bars. So what we want to do is split this region at bar 26, 27, 28, and so on. Now, the normal way of doing this is by pressing T on the keyboard and pulling up your scissors tool. And then we can go through and split here and so on and make our way through. But you've really got to be quite accurate, making sure that you cut on the line. There is another way of doing this, which is quite handy. First of all, make sure that you set this, your division to a quarter division. And then you hold down the Alt or Option key and with your scissors tool, click on the line. And there you go. It divides this entire audio region into small chunks of four beats. Bear in mind as well, if you were to click right here on the beat, this, there are four beats in this bar, just like so. It will split this region into four chunks based on the division you've set up here. So it all depends on where you click on the region. That will determine how logic works out the divisions, okay? So the next thing we wanna do, like I said, is we want to reverse the sound of all of the chords, okay? So we've got each chord starting on the bar. However, here, we've got two chords played within this one bar here, and that's going to be a problem. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna split right here in the middle, so the next thing you've got to do is press I on the keyboard to display the inspector and make sure you click on the track that the audio region is sitting on and then go to region and right here click reverse. Okay, now let's have a listen. As the file played through, you would have heard clicks and glitches where the audio regions have been divided. And to fix that, again, we make sure that we clicked on the track and we move over here to fade, fade in. And all you do is click and drag up. I'm gonna put about five units of fade and you'll see right here, if we zoom in a bit, a fade in curve has been added to the front of each of the regions. I'm also gonna apply fade out as well. Just a small envelope. Here we go, about that much. Let's have a listen. There you go, nice and simple. So the quick dividing technique can come in real handy, not only with audio regions, but also with MIDI parts as well. I'm going to apply the technique to create a snare roll, and I'm sure this is definitely gonna speed things up when you're doing it, okay? So first of all, I've reverted back to a division of 1 16th, and I'm going to start by pressing T to pull up the scissors tool and hold down Alt or Option on this note. And now all of these notes have been split by 1 16th division. Now in this bit, I want to divide this up into divisions of 1 over 32. So all I need to do here is go to 1 over 32, highlight that, hold down Alt or Option, click, and there we go. Let's have a listen. There we go. So this is what our pattern sounds like.
So this technique is really handy, it will speed things up, especially when you're doing your hi-hat rolls, your snare rolls, even kick drums, and even if you're chopping up chords into very small chunks, this is a really handy technique. Just remember to highlight the part that you want to work with, set the division up here that you want to work to, select the scissors tool, hold down option, and then click, and you're good to go. As always, I really do appreciate you watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is Dr. Deuce. I'll be back real soon with more. Peace.